couple things. It's the launch condition of the golf balls it comes off, which is a factor of the construction, the materials used, the, the dimensions of the different components, but then really the aerodynamics after it leaves the club face. Once it leaves club face, the launch conditions are what they are and aerodynamics take over. Golfers need to understand flight changes the distance they hit their shots, it changes the control they have with their shots, and it changes how close they can hit it to the hole because of the reaction on the green. If a golf shot flies lower than expected, in all likelihood, it's gonna come into the green shallower, that shot will release out more than they want, and the shot result isn't gonna be what that golfer wants. If a shot flies too high, if it, again, it's gonna impact the shot result in that it may not carry as far, so they may end up coming up a few yards short of their intended target, which could mean the difference of landing on the green and having a birdie putt or being in that front bunker. For golfers that are hitting approach shots into the green, they want to achieve a certain flight so that when the ball is descending into the green, they're going to get the stopping power that they need to control that golf ball. Also, with longer clubs like driver, we want that flight to be optimized so that when the golf ball lands on the ground, they're also going to get some rollout on that shot. If you're typically a really high spin golfer, if you're hitting really high spin driver shots, a lower flighted ball might be a better performing golf ball for you. And vice versa, if you're really low spin, you might benefit from something that flies a little higher.